In this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you a powerful feature in Microsoft Word, and that is Find and Replace. Let's pretend that I am the writer of this document. I'm not, but if I were, let's say that I regret using the term mission so much in this document. Maybe there's a company policy that says that I need to change the word mission to another word, like, for example, operation. Or maybe I just prefer that term myself and I want to go in and make that change. Well, the word mission is in this document, I would guess, dozens of times. Let's find out for sure. There's a couple of ways I could find that. One is to go here to the View tab and check this box next to Navigation Pane. If you do that, you can search your document for, in this case, the word mission. Oh, look, it found 94 results of using the word mission in this document. Now, there is a faster way. Instead of going to View, Navigation Pane, let's say I'm on the Home ribbon. I can just hold the control key on the keyboard and tap F. Control F is the shortcut for find. And that brings up the navigation pane and I can type in mission. All right, so with 94 results, I really do not want to go in and change all of those. Well, the good news is I can close that navigation pane. Here on the home tab, home ribbon, there is a button here for find and that is another way to get to that navigation pane. But underneath that, there's an option for replace. So I can click there and it brings up this find and replace box. Here's find and here's replace. So I'll go with replace and it says find what? The word mission. It already knew that that's what I'm concerned about. But if I want to, I can change that to something else, but I'll stick with mission. And then I can replace it with, let's say, operation. And there are some advanced options here that you could play around with. So for example, you could match the case and you can have it search only for whole words. You can use wildcards meaning that it won't search strictly for just the word mission, but maybe some alternates of that word that are similar to it. Find all word forms. There's just a lot of advanced options here that you'll need to try out if you're interested in learning about them. I'm just gonna stick with this. So I click replace, and if I pull this aside, you'll see that what I just replaced is the first example of the word mission. And here's the second example. So if I click replace, it moves on to the next. Okay, there's the word missions. So even though missions and mission aren't exactly the same, it still counted it, and I'll click replace. So I could just keep clicking this to change mission to operation. Instead, I'm just gonna click replace all, and everything is gonna be updated and changed. So there were 80 replacements. Do you wanna continue searching from the beginning? Yes. Okay, 85 replacements. So I click okay, and I'm done with this find and replace box that popped up. So I hope you can see the great advantage to using Find and Replace. And it's found here in the Replace button. That just saved me at least five or 10 minutes of work. But there is something else that Find and Replace can do. When you click on Replace, let's say that you're not so much concerned with a particular word that you would like to change, but you are concerned about the font that you've used or other formatting options like bold, italicize, underline. So for example, in this document, the person that created it, it looks like they used underlining and bold to highlight some important terms that they use in this document. So UAV system, that's in bold and underlined, and there are several other examples throughout this document. And maybe that's perfectly fine, but if I think that's a little bit of overkill, a little bit too much, look what I could do. I could change these automatically to something like, let's say, italics instead of underline and bold. Again, I could use find and replace. So I can just go in here and I will delete out the word operation or mission and make sure that these boxes are empty. And it's important that once I've deleted out those words that I click back into the find what box. So I click there and then I'm gonna go down here to the format button and click and format font. Now again, make sure that you've clicked here where it says find what. You've gotta be in that first box. All right, so I want Word to search and find anything that's bolded and underlined. So I clicked on bold and I go here to underline and I'm gonna pick the regular underline option which is here. So I click it and this is exactly what Microsoft Word is gonna look for. Bolded items that are underlined. So I click OK, and now that's reflected here. I'm going to leave the box itself empty, and then go down here to Replace With, and again I'll go down to Format, Font, 
and this time I want to format it to be italicized. So I choose italic, click OK, and then I can click replace, and it found something and replaced it. So that you can see it a little bit better, I'm going to click find next, and that should have found the next example. Here it is. And if I click replace, then it changes it into italics. Now I could have also forced it to not be bold. So here where it says format italic, I can click again and choose format, font, and here where it says italic, I could choose not bold. Click OK. And I could just proceed to find the next one, replace that, and if I want to, I can click replace all, and it makes all 33 replacements for me. Now you may have noticed that when I did this, Yes, Word found examples of bolded and underlined text and changed them to italics, but it still left them underlined. So if I want to do it again, I can. Okay, if you find something that's bolded and underlined, this time I don't want you to make it italicized, I want you to make it not underlined. To do this, you would have to click in the box that says italic because it, it already made everything italicized. And now you would go down and click No Formatting, and then you would change the format font to not bold. Let's start with that. So I click OK, replace all, and it worked. So now these terms are italicized and they're not bold. Now I could do it one more time and I could clear the formatting. Notice that it just clears the formatting of the box that I'm clicked in. If I needed to though, I could clear this formatting too just by clicking and then clicking here. And in this case, I do need to do that. If I really want to get rid of the underlining, I could say no formatting, and then I could say find text that is italicized and underlined and replace it with font format that has no underlining. Click OK, replace all, and now we have what I was looking for, what I was trying to do. So sometimes it does take multiple steps. Searching for one thing and replacing one characteristic of it, sometimes you can do two or more characteristics. But then other times you do have to go back and repeat and maybe change some of the parameters to make it work. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.